Emergency services in Western Australia are warning people in the Fitzroy River catchment to take immediate action as record-breaking floods are expected to threaten homes and lives. It's the worst flooding in WA's history with a volume of rain in the past 24 hours exceeding the combined total for the past 20 years. Floodwaters in Fitzroy Crossing have peaked now 15.81 metres. We are currently facing a, at least a 1 in 100 year flood event uh, in the Kimberley. Fitzroy Crossing is now currently completely isolated and the only way in and out of that town is by a helicopter. Fitzroy River Bridge project has been a tremendously important project. There are only two ways into WA, across the Nullarbor and across the Kimberley. The uh, Fitzroy is one of the biggest rivers in the state and uh, when it flows, it flows. So if we want to maintain access, uh, especially during the wet season, we definitely need the bridges over the rivers to be intact. key issue for us was that the bridge had been washed out and that had cut the access between the East Kimberley to the West Kimberley. This link is incredibly important to the state economy and also the national economy. The disconnection of the Kimberley had major economic and social consequences for freight movement and of course the dislocation of the community. The road transport industry was, was really concerned. Any people who were trying to transport goods from Perth, the only route that they could take was down the air highway through South Australia and then coming through Karnara through the Northern Territory border. Freight was disrupted, um, communities were disrupted, so um, we put all our energy into getting this bridge up and running. We managed to produce a, a brand new bridge, demolish the old, with no geotech and no pre-design in the space of 288 days. The reconnection's been a major priority for the state and it's an incredible outcome to have it reconnected so quickly. The first issue we, we had to do was to try and re-establish uh, some sort of access for the, the communities within Fitzroy Crossing. The river goes through the centre of the town, and so there was uh, communities on, on both sides of the, um, of the river. From the uh, middle of March through to the end of April, Beachhead Logistics offered a ferry service. The community soon got the idea of what we were doing and turned out to be very successful. During that six week period of operation, there were 15,000 moved across the, uh, the river. Our next move then was to put in a temporary road access across the river. We did that by establishing two low level crossings. We built those crossings with rock protection and put uh, gravel surfacing on it. So in the Kimberley of Western Australia we get two main seasons, the wet and the dry. The project team knew that rain was coming because they've done a lot of work with the Bureau of Meteorology. We had the dry season to undertake the construction of the bridge and get it to a level in which we could then finish off the bridge during the following wet season. We've been able to achieve completion of the bridge before the wet season started uh, in the following year. Well, we needed a bridge back as soon as possible, so uh, we were hoping to get it back in, uh, in under two years. To get it back in one year was, uh, was a great effort and the finished bridge looks excellent. It's uh, much wider, so we've got our two-lane bridge which is excellent. We basically just made it all about picking the best team. We didn't have the usual commercial criteria, there was no pricing involved, so the amount of work that the opponents had to do 
has drastically reduced. We've been able to come up with some innovative design and work as a single team with Main Roads collaboratively with their requirements in terms of design, safety and quality and in particular in terms of managing the logistical issues of being in such a remote location. Generally speaking the project's gone remarkably well. It's all about picking the best team. You've got to have the right leader, you have the right designer, the right construction contractor. It really has been a result of a collaborative effort both between main roads, the contractors and in particular the fab shops around Western Australia have been able to deliver components to make this bridge a success. We saw this as a, a wonderful opportunity to train Aboriginal people and give Aboriginal companies the opportunity to get experience on, on, on this particular project. This project would not have been able to be achieved and built in such a fast time frame had it not been for the support of the local community and their willingness to get involved and be part of the works. That's been a real strength by the Alliance. They built relationships with the local traditional owners, they built that trust and then the main thing was delivering on commitments. Everybody in Main Roads in the transport portfolio understand that we've got a target of $700 billion worth of work being provided to Aboriginal people and three and a half million hours of work to provide to Aboriginal people working on transport projects right throughout Western Australia. Over 250 people have worked on this project locally. Now those people, some of which have never worked before, have had the opportunity to gain skills and some of which, through the support of the project, have now gone on to start their own businesses. They did what they said they were going to do. They made those commitments, they delivered on them, and you can see the outcomes of that today with people being skilled up and hopefully moving into other employment. The skills that this project's been able to develop amongst the workforce here in Fitzroy will be used across the Kimberley for years to come. industry has been very happy with the work that we've done to re-establish the access across the Fitzroy River and we've just had very, very positive feedback from that. I'm personally very proud and I think the rest of our project team is very proud and I know they are. It's all about people, it's about leadership and it's about delivering the project. The uh, workmanship and the uh, engineering that went into this bridge is uh, second to none. This is an incredible achievement by the Main Roads team and the Alliance partners and the community. Everyone worked so well together, so quickly to deliver an incredible outcome. <laughs>